Good afternoon. This is my problem with the uh, Zacha video. Let me just go to the video that uh, Wayne Crook put up in the dish of blood. And uh, this is only that 138 video. And uh, this was put up uh, since I haven't blocked. He haven't blocked because he's constantly making stupid comments. Uh, uh, Matchy Nugent said, uh, Crook is crooking his thinking. He just uploaded a video. That's, the title said, No Blood in Romans 10. Uh, then when you listen to it to speak, I have to go to the first four chapters in Romans that mention the blood. But somehow Crook tied that to Romans 10. There's a lack of something up there. So Crook come back and answered. I'm going to reply to as Edward has, has me blocked. Hopefully you will see that it is really not complicated for Christ Jesus that rose from the dead. There was only one logical conclusion. Jesus was crucified and shed his blood. Not for the sins. In Acts chapter 2, it talks about Jesus Christ dying. They're still looking at the issue of Jesus Christ dying part of the Davidic covenant. See, Crook is looking at it from a point of a Christian view, but the Jewish view, which is a parenthesis there, is looking at the Davidic covenant issue. And that's why Peter doesn't mention the idea of Jesus Christ dying for his sins. And of course, he mentions Jesus Christ dying. That's the context. And, uh, let's see, uh, says, yeah, I would respond to that. That's how Cook operates is simply a lie. I guess this way my comments I made in response to him. Maybe we'll go back and forth. There's no blood in Romans 10, 9, 10. That's what specifically the issue was. So how can be salvation verse? That's the issue. Romans 10, 9, 10, people. Uh, nor does it say anything about Christ dying for anyone's sins. Uh, would you like to put evidence to your claim here? The evidence is the verse. Or is that just your opinion? No, the evidence is the verse. Show me where his blood atonement in Romans 10, 9, 10. There's no need for the Apostle Paul to have mentioned the blood atonement. The Jews were more than verse that blood was needed for the remission of sins. That's not the issue what the verse is saying, though, because the emphasis there is not the point of saying, well, let's look back at the blood. See, that's what, that's what the idea is, that, okay, the Jews had an understanding of the blood. The, the uh the necessary blood but the gospel the the apostles weren't saved by believing Jesus Christ came to die for their sins they believed that he was the son of God and he was the Christ that he was coming to be the Messiah that's the kingdom gospel so yeah blood was involved but they had no idea that that blood was dealing with the idea of their mission of sins they were back in reconciliation now idea of the issue of blood but Romans 10 9 10 doesn't say anything about, yeah, Jews. He's talking about the Jews. Okay, then it's not for, it's not for us then. Jews would understand it then. Christians wouldn't. Uh, unbelievers today. A Jew with a Jewish background. But I understand what was that. Oh, yeah, blood is necessary. So, but the 11 apostles were saved, weren't saved by believing Jesus Christ died for the sins. The, 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 Jesus Christ had come to die for the sins. And of course, that's why P, Peter had to be rebuked by the Lord. He wants not to go to the cross. See, but he's confused on the kingdom gospel. And so Romans 10, 9, 10, Romans 10 is talking to present Jews. And then he says, oh yeah, well, Jews, there's no blood atonement. But Jews will understand the, the blood. Well, they, they were going through blood, uh, bloody sacrifices and everything like that. But they had no idea how to deal with salvation from the issue of eternal sin, that Jesus Christ would come to pay for those sins. Until they will reveal that. And the grace of God, 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 the, the gospel of the grace of God came in. And he says, you anybody can back that up. There's no blood moments then on him. And today, see, he's making my point. He's making my point. For a Jew, they might have well understood the issue. That means it's for Jews. You can't get someone saved today, Romans tonight, then, because no Gentile would understand the idea. What well, about blood? We don't have anything with blood. So he's making my case. There's no blood mentioned there. Blood atonement. That's mentioned in, in, in Romans 3. That's a Gentile can understand that. The propitiation. The blood atonement. Jesus Christ dying for your sins. Paul mentions that in Acts 13. Doesn't mention Romans thir uh, ten, but you haven't given the case. What is Paul, what is uh, uh what is, where does uh Z uh uh, Zach, uh, uh Crook went to? Romans the Hebrews four. That's Jewish. 
that's, that was to the Jews, the first century Jews. So Wayne Cook makes my own case. Okay, we'd say, we'd say, okay, you must say, the Jews were understood. Fine. It's pathetical. It's for Jews then. It's not for church. No one gets saved by Romans 10 today. Because you wouldn't, you, you wouldn't relate to it. So Crook makes my, even, even when he's trying to argue with me, and this is why Barack Obama wants to argue with me, yeah, Jews were understood the issue of blood, but they, the, the 11 apostles were not saved believing in the gospel of the grace of God. They, they didn't believe in the resurrection until they saw the risen Christ. And these guys just ignore all that. And then in Acts 2, Paul, Peter's not preaching about the sin. He's preaching about the Davidic covenant. And in Romans 10, Paul's talking about, well, there's no blood. Well, if the Jews are relating to blood, it wouldn't be something the Gentiles would relate to today. We wouldn't understand. The person, you see, you wouldn't take Romans 10 for their salvation. And that's what everyone's does. Everyone's taking more people in Romans 10. That's the point. It's pathetical. You want to say the Jews saw the blood in there? Fine. But that just shows you it's pathetical. It's still Jewish. And he runs well Hebrews, Hebrews, which was the first book was written to Jews. The Hebrews was written to Jews, or the first century Jews. That he that uh, Christianity was a better way. So we'll stop here and put this up and uh, show the crook. Crook is making my point. If, if, if the Jew would understand, okay, so the Jews. It's no blood. For the Jew, he eats no blood there, but he would have to relate to, well, I understand blood, you know. But they wouldn't understand relationship to the death of their sins because they weren't saved that way. The, I mean, the apostles weren't saved. They, they still do like the kingdom gospel. That they believe Jesus Christ is the Son of God. Go to Matthew 16. You can't get saved believing that. Matthew 16, 16. You're not going to get saved believing Matthew 16 today. It's what they believed in. That what the Christ, the Son of the living God. No person can say believe in that today. No person can say they believe in that. That's what he's preaching in Acts 2. That's what Paul is telling them in Romans 10. Their problem was faith. Now, I believe to, to get saved, then they would have to have to believe Jesus Christ died for their sins on the cross. The gospel is being preached by Acts 13. You can see sins are at issue. But he's talking Romans 10 there. The point is today you can't go to Romans 10. Zach, uh, 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 when Cook is making all the issue about the blood, he said, well, yeah, the Jew would understand the blood. And then he would have uh, uh, intuitively understood. It's not there though. It's not there now. So he's making my point that in fact it's a Jewish issue. Not an issue for today. It was for contemporary for then. So if it's a it's not there in the actual passages, but you say, okay, well, they would have been intuitive because they had their background, they would have intuitively applied the blood atonement. They would apply blood to that issue. They understand that Jesus Christ died for the sins of the cross. Until Paul is telling them that. That they could not die for sins, that they could not, uh, his, his sacrifice, that they could not be justified poor by the law. And he said, therefore, your problem is faith. Your Jews' problem, their problem is faith. They won't believe it. Well, you take a you take an average person today, you're not going to Jews, you're going to Gentiles. You go say, yeah, most people are going to Gentiles. Well, it tends to mean anything you're talking about. There's no blood talking about there. Just make my point. So let me see what he does. Let me see what he says here. I haven't actually played the video. Just dealt with the comments. This is a you know, double talk. Zach, uh, uh, Wayne Cook doesn't believe in that the, the disciples are saved the same way we'll say, uh, that uh, saved differently from a different gospel. They, they, the blood was applied to them in, uh, in Romans three twenty five, and they eventually did believe. And they got you know they they were put into the church. They they actually saw that Jesus Christ died for the sins on the cross. But when they first believed him, they believed in Jesus Christ was the Son of God. He was the, the Messiah, the Christ. Moses as a way of righteousness, and now they must confess Christ. You can imagine an early church Jew or even a Jew today. Uh, what what that would mean in that individual's life 
and shalt believe in thine heart that God had raised him from the dead. Thou shalt be saved. It's almost 10 minutes. Yeah. I, I pointed out the fact before that in the earlier part of Romans, Paul deals more with the blood of Jesus. Romans 4, Romans 3, 4, and 5. He deals with the blood of Jesus. Why? Because that is to all. That's to Jew and Gentile. Okay, that's the point he's making. Romans 10 now is to Jews. And, and in, that, in that context, he's dealing with a little bit of the Jews, a little bit of Gentiles. He's really dealing with all of us. There is no difference. All have sinned. He's, he's emphasizing the blood, believing in his blood, which just by the blood. I mean, he, he's blood, 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 blood. All in the early part of the Romans. Now, Romans 19, 11, it's Jew, Jew, Jew. It's like what I'm saying. He doesn't say much about the blood. He emphasizes the resurrection. See, the Jews don't have a problem with blood. They do. Yeah, that's right. Bloody since the beginning. Blood's not their issue. Believing in the blood, right? Yeah. But the blood atonement is the issue of Christ dying for your sins on the cross. They don't have a problem with blood. They understand the issue of shedding blood, but they have to understand what the, shed, shed, the blood was shed for. In Acts chapter 2, with Peter saying the blood was shed in order for Christ to show he was the part of the Davidic covenant. He was the, uh, he was the uh, heir to the Davidic covenant. He had to die in order to be resurrected. They understand the blood in relationship to forgiveness of sin, but so forth. The guy saying is 100% accurate. So we've been believing in some kind of blood for years. That blood's not a problem with them. Resurrection's a problem. Yeah, exactly right. Jesus coming back from the dead. You must believe that. Now, all of this is a with all of us. That's right. But the shift is the Davidic covenant, Jewish, to the church age, which is salvation. And the resurrection proven that Jesus Christ died for the sins. The, the payment was efficacious. For the Jew, they're looking for the issue of the Davidic heir and the millennium. I don't care if you're Gentile, Jew, or whatever. You must believe his blood. And you must believe he rose from the dead. You got to believe all these things. But right. he's emphasizing it where he's emphasizing uh, because he's dealing with that, that group of people, uh, the lost nation of Israel. And so you must believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead. He says, Thou shalt be saved. He's talking about Jews. Just like I said. That's not today for the Gentiles. That's a particularly Jewish message. He's actually saying what I'm saying, parenthesis. You do so. But with the <laughs> people. Man. So basically, Wade Cook is supporting my argument. Romans 10, the Jew, written to the Jew at present day, and they would apply the blood, it was the blood. But the problem is. The blood didn't represent payment for sins. It represented the idea of the Davidic covenant, the one who shed blood and be resurrected. He made the point. The guy said the emphasis was on the resurrection. Why is that important for the Jew then? Davidic covenant, not an issue of personal salvation. And that's what Peter's talking about in Romans, Acts chapter 2. So, so I'll put this up. And, uh, you know, this is just double talk. This is a guy trying to make issues he doesn't stand. The eleven apostles were not saved by believing that Jesus Christ was came to die for their sins on the cross. They believed that he was their Messiah coming to be to, to bring the millennium. And that's why they were shocked when he was crucified. And they did not believe in the resurrection and were shocked when he was resurrected. And then the issue became Jesus Christ died for the sins on the cross, for their sins. They didn't understand that. They wait for that Messiah to come. And they were they weren't looking for a lamb, they were looking for a lion. That's all the confusion. This is all this stuff. He gets all upset. He goes, and he, he, so he's basically all orders of Zach is saying it's not a parenthesis. And what, what Crook is saying is Zach, what I'm saying is it is true, a Jewish word instead. But the blood atonement to them meant a different thing. It didn't mean Christ dying for the sins in the course. It meant the Davidic covenant, the one shedding his blood coming was to set up that Davidic covenant, that millennium kingdom, which would have been a righteous kingdom. That's why they were being baptized at John the Baptist for remission of sins. They understand the payment of sins on the cross. But, you know, they had the blood, all the blood and everything. No question about that. But they understand the, the actual blood atonement and what it actually was referring to, that someone had come to bear their sins on the cross. They should have. I mean, Isaiah 53. They should have. But they didn't. They started viewing the issue of the kingdom as opposed to what had preceded the kingdom, which was the cross. So we'll stop here. Amen. Thank you.